Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Grimoire Chronicles. I'm Bubbly Oasis and when we last left off we were ready to walk into this trap in St. Simon. So let's go into the church and see what's going on. Versus? What a surprise. Really? I thought you were busy hunting down that runaway witch. News travels, I see. Agatha, we've come to see Seymour. It's most urgent. I see. You couldn't have selected a worse day to come. His Highness is insanely busy today. I'm not sure if he'll be able to see you. We came all this way, Agatha. We must see him. I'll do what I can, but I can't make no promises. In the meantime, why don't you visit the town a bit? Perhaps I'll be more amenable in a few hours. Alright. Thanks for helping us out, Agatha. It's what I'm here for. Okay, so they're gonna let us run around the town. Uh, I think I'm gonna explore in here a little bit though first. I'll see what I can do. Either way, it will take a while. I suggest you go spend some time in the city. Alright, what do you have to say, Mr. Soldier? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, these guys are the silent type. Kinda like the guards outside Whitehall. Nice. In, uh, London. Nope, they are completely silent. How about you? Do you have a valve silence? You can always see Agatha walking around the church. She's always making sure that everything is in place. Nice little character detail there. Oh, these guards have absolutely nothing to say. Oh, here's the sanctuary here. Let's talk to some of these people. This place always helped me put things in focus. Life is so rushed these days that sometimes you have to sit still for a while and think about what is really important to you. Very true. My father was a priest, and my grandfather was also a priest. When I have a son, he will be a priest. Hmm. Let's see. I always come here. This is the best place to find some peace of mind. Oops. Oh, what? It looks like I can totally go behind those columns. Uh, I guess I cannot. I will come up this way. I'm guessing you have nothing to say. You do not. How about you, Mr. Priest? Can I help you with anything, my child? You seem to be carrying a heavy burden. I wish I could tell you about it, Padre, but I can't. Well, I'll be here if you change your mind. That's yeah, so the thing is, like, some of these people seem really nice, so... You have to wonder what's actually going on here. Maybe it's just the heads of the church that are corrupted. Let me guess, you have to say nothing. Nope. Alright. Let's see if I can go into the doors. Oh, I can. What do we have here? It looks like the dormitories. I work in this church ever since <laughs> I work I've worked in this church ever since I was a young man. I couldn't have wished for a better life. Oh, is there a soldier without a helmet? Maybe you'll talk to me. Yeah, yeah, you totally will. We are very well treated by the church. They really do reward us for the job we do. Oh well, that's good. Somebody. Hello? High Priest Seymour is a very busy man. It is very rare to see him walking in these corridors. Hmm. Or maybe he's not there at all. Ooh, what we have in here? Like a little study class and such. Do you want to become a student too? I don't think I fit your profile. How is that? You're better off not knowing it. <laughs> I'm a witch! Oh gosh! She must be studying very hard. Uh, so is she. How about you? Ow, these guys are really serious about their studies. Oh, a little girl! Wow, even she's serious. They all have absolutely nothing to say to us. Here's the library. 
I have to admit, I was never much of a reader, but once I found out about this place, that changed. The whole story of the church is written in these pages. That's amazing. Oh, I wish I could read it. That might be a good thing for me to know. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing, you guys. Let's see. How about you? What would you like to say? I spend most of my day here. There is so much you can learn from these books. Yeah, I bet. I just wish I could read some of them. Alright, no books can be read, so off we go. And we'll see what's down this corridor. Our silent soldier? I believe I talked to him already. Let's see. Ooh, a chest! Finally! Hello there. It is my duty to protect this room. Sounds big, but it ain't, trust me. Yeah, there's really not much in here. We got some supplies. Ooh, a runic sigil, which is their name for a symbol. Let's see, is it an equipable? Yes, it is. It is an accessory. Raises six intelligence. Ooh, I'm definitely giving that one to Myra. Excellent. That'll be very useful for us. Okay, I've explored the southern half. Let's explore the upper half here. Let's see what we can find. Go upstairs? There's Silent Soldier. He has nothing to say. Uh, there's some more dorms. I don't see anything interesting in here. Say up there. Oh yeah, I remember. Wait, was Versus here? Oh no, this was uh, about the same layout as they had in. Uh... Oh, what was that town's name? <laughs> I'm so spacing out on it right now. Oh, I'll totally remember later and be like, oh damn it, I totally should have known. Yeah, we're going up here. This has to be his office. Oh no, it's the roof. Ooh, and a chest. So another magic drop. Excellent. Let's check over here. Oh, wow. check it out! I'm on top of the castle! Super awesome. Alright. And we have one more room to check right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, it is definitely locked, so that must be... Uh, High Priest Seymour's office, so we will take our leave and go about the town then, as they suggested. <laughs> it's kind of nice, uh, actually, that uh, when they redesigned this, that they had a different carpet for each floor, so that gives some depth to it and uh, it helps you differentiate where you're at, which is very nice. Alright, well, I guess we'll look around the town. Or at least uh, try to trigger an event. We shall see what will happen. I've already been in a lot of the places. I might check again to see if anything's changed in the shops. See if we have any different weapons. Nope. Oh, sorry there. And off we go. I'm wondering what I'll have to do. Maybe I just have to exit the town and that'll kick it into high gear. Oh, I should also see how I'm doing on. Everybody is completely restored, so I don't have to stay at the end. Did I talk to you already? I bet I did. Oh yeah, this is the guy who uh, gave me a love letter. When I head back that direction, I will definitely deliver it to her. Pretty sure I searched everywhere. I'll just check in this armor shop one more time. Oh! Lorene! Oh my gosh! I forgot that you lived here! How are you doing? I'm fine, Myra. It's my father that troubles me. You're the girl from the train, right? Yes, I must say, I never expected to see the three of you together again. Ah, we do form an unusual team. Any 
Anyway, what brings you to St. Simon? We're here to speak with High Priest Seymour. It's a very long story. I guess I have the time. Well, if you really want to know... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's insane! I would have never imagined the bishop was... That's so loud. Do you want to cause a panic? People learn that the leader of the predators is not only seems. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that... That is very disturbing. Very disturbing. Tell me about it. I never saw it coming. I would offer to help out, but I have to take care of my father, and I'm not sure if I would be of any help anyway, so don't worry about it, Loreen. Just focus on your father. That's what I'll do. Hey, you said we'll have to wait to see his highness, so why don't you stop by my house later? That sounds like a lovely idea. Great! I'll be waiting for you then. Remember, let's not tell anyone about all this mess, not even your parents, alright? No, I understand. Oh, and she must have gone to take care of her father. So are you Lorene's little sister? Mom asked me to do the groceries again. Aww. Oh, how do I get over there? Can I get over there? Is there another entrance? Weird. Part of the house is blocked off. Did I do that right? I definitely. Oh, what? What? Did you guys see this? The only way to get up here is to go down here on this little invisible pathway. That's ridiculous. That, uh, I'm sorry, I love this game, but that right there is a really bad design. <laughs> And normally a lot of these houses are very easy to navigate, so that's very strange. Anyway, I can't get tired of books. They're the best source of education one can have, in my humble opinion. Oh. Nope. That's so weird. Alright. Okay, you guys. So we're still just wondering about the town. I'm gonna try and leave the town and see what happens. Oh, and apparently I can leave the town with no consequence. Interesting. Let's go back. Must be somewhere else I need to go then. I might try the end, because that seems to be where a lot of events kick in. This is such a really pretty little town. Alright, here's the end. Oh, it's a chest! And a lady, let's go talk to the lady and then we'll get the chest. I'm trying to purchase a house here in St. Simon. I'm very picky, so it's taking some time. The chest of rare fruit! Excellent! Totally worth coming in here. Alright, we'll try this door. Nothing in here. I wonder how many gold it is to stay here. Only ten, that's not bad. But we have no need to at the moment. Unless I'll trigger a cutscene, I'm not sure. Let's keep walking around here and see if something will happen. I'll try going in here. Oh, been in here. Can I go this way? Nope. Oh yeah, I remember this is a stable with all the horses. Hi horses, can I ride on you? Oh, I can't ride on you. Alright. I think I might just have to stay in the end one more time. I can't really think of what else might trigger something. Although I might be able to just go back up. We'll go back up to the church so that if nothing triggers, we'll go to the end and sleep again. Okay. She's 
still here. Okay, I'm gonna... You know, I, I'm not sure if I did the center house here, so I'm gonna go inside of it. Seems pretty big. Been in here. The chest is open. Can I go upstairs? Nope. Okay. Oh, did I go in here yet? Maybe this one's the armor shop. No, this one's. I've been in the weapon shop. Okay. I'm just getting lost in Saint Simon now. Okay. We're gonna go sleep in the end and see if that'll trigger something. Yes, I would love to stay a night at the end. I don't think that triggered anything, but it was worth a try. Gosh, guys, I don't know. Um... Oh, there we go. I've triggered something. Oh, good. Mom, Dad, these are the friends I told you about. This is Myra, Versus, and Ambrose. Versus. I know that name from some... Oh! Oh, you're a predator, aren't you? I was. Uh, that is, my retirement hasn't been officially announced to the Order yet. It's a pleasure to have you here in our house. I can't say I'm a fan of some of your more violent methods, but you can't decry any man who puts his life at risk the way you do. Thank you, and don't worry, I'm not really fond of all the fighting myself. Forgive me for saying so, sir, but Lorene mentioned you were ill? It's quite alright. Yes, I've been, well, to say under the weather is something of an understatement. I've been to several apothecaries, but no one can tell me what afflicts me. It's most worrisome. If you don't mind my asking, what are the symptoms? Well, it comes and goes, but I feel this great surge of vigor and energy, like I was a boy again. Then just as quickly as it comes, it takes its leave of me, reducing me to a mewling babe and sapping my strength, taking me to my bed and robbing me of even the strength to eat or speak. It's been like this for three years now, and we're afraid that it's getting worse. Indeed, it seems that every day I grow weaker and weaker, and the time it takes for me to return to normal comes less and leaves sooner. Why do you ask, though? Do you know anything about it? Hmm. What is it, Myra? Do you know anything that can help my father? If so, please tell me. It might be dangerous. Please! Mr. Bennett? Go ahead. All right. I'm sure you've all heard about the Zekio Library. It's the most precious place we have in these lands. The books there are ancient, thousands of years old, written by some of the greatest mages ever. Do you think there might be a cure for Father there? It's possible. I can't say for certain without knowing exactly what he has. But since illnesses aren't really rare, odds are you'll find some sort of clue there. Who knows? Then I'll head to Zekio as soon as I can. I swear I'll find your cure, Father. You may want to reconsider that, kiddo. Zekio may be just the library, but that doesn't mean it's not without its dangers. Are you two alright with this? If it could help, then it. I've already told Lorene countless times that I wouldn't want to live if anything happened to her. But she's adamant that she can do this. I don't know. Maybe she can. She's grown up so much. Maybe she can go to Zekiel. Oh, Father, if you think I can, then I will. In that case, good luck, Lorene. But don't forget to take plenty of surprise with you, just in case. I will. I'll be careful. <laughs> I think it's just about time we got moving ourselves. Yes, we still have to speak with Agatha again. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much for the visit. I think we all really appreciate it. Thanks for telling me about Zeki, Myra. No problem. Just be careful. Aww. Oh, so this is the house where Lorene lives. 
We met these people earlier. Thanks for stopping by. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Let's see. I have to be positive. I'm sure Louis will find something in Zekio. Thank you very much for the tip. No problem. Goodbye, Lenore. Oh, Arena has such nice parents. Alrighty. So we'll head back up to the church. And we shall see if we will finally trigger something up here. <laughs> talk to Agatha and see if Seymour's ready to see us. Ooh, we got a cutscene. Good. So, Agatha, do you have good news for us? I'm afraid I was unable to convince His Highness to see you today, Ambrose. He simply swamped through with courtly matters until tomorrow. Blast! Didn't you tell him it was important? I told him it was important. Urgent. An emergency, dire, catastrophic, apocalyptic, and a matter of great concern. It didn't make his workload any lighter or make him any more amenable to ignoring matters of state. So, he won't see us then. His Majesty is willing to grant you audience tomorrow morning before the state puts too much work on him. You're to be given quarters here at the church until he is ready for you, and I'm not to take no for an answer hard to argue when you put it like that. I knew you'd see it my way. I'll take you to your room. Uh-oh. I smell the trap about to spring. Then it's already decided. You won't even listen to them. I have no reason to. I believe in Bishop's word. A hero like him won us the magic war. I can't help but to disagree with this. I think you should at least listen to what they have to say. It is too late. The soldiers must be arresting them as we speak. You underestimate Versus. He will resist. Let him. It's night. How far could he get in this darkness? Oh yeah, you just watch, Seymour. This doesn't feel right. Feels like we're fish in a barrel, just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. We've been waiting in that barrel the moment we set foot in this town, you fool. Oh good, it's not just me then. I thought maybe I was getting paranoid. Agatha seems sincere. I really think she'll take good care of us. She's loyal, a noble trait to be certain, but only depending on who she's loyal to. If Seymour tells her to hack us to pieces while we sleep, she'll do it without hesitation. Speaking of which... Uh-oh. Here comes a soldier. Oh no! What happened? Will Seymour see us now? Only if he pays you a visit in Ormond Prison. What?! You're under arrest for collaborating with the rebels and facilitating the escape of this witch. How dare you bring this creature into a holy sanctuary? Apposite scum! You dare call me a creature? You're the treasonous dogs! Quiet, witch! Now move, or it's the calipers for you! You'll find witch hunting tools of little use against the likes of me, old sod. So now what? Now I suppose we surround this room and smoke you out. We either come quietly or choke to death in a blazing inferno. A lesser man would let himself be imitated by that threat. Next time, I suggest you go to a lesser man. No oh, bloody. Don't ask for mercy! Yeah! Versus! Yeah! Beat him up! Ooh! Ah, ooh! That's gonna hurt! Ooh! Ooh! Wish you guys could see this. It's been censored. No, just kidding. <laughs> What are we gonna do now? We have to find a fast way to get out of the city. She's right about that. We can't just run. They will get us. Very well then. We'll head to the barn and take some horses. Now. Woo! Well, because it's just some horses. What is that? They're escaping. What? I knew he wouldn't make it any easier for us. I'm going after them. Oh, she just took off the side of the church. What? 
Agatha is hardcore! Be smart and keep quiet. We're only interested in the horses, so don't do anything suicidal, okay? I won't, I won't, just please don't hurt me! What a bloody embarrassment to the army you are. Let's go. Yeah, ride that horse. They're gone! Blast it all! I'm sorry, Lady Agatha. I tried to stop them, but I couldn't. Two men and a girl, and you couldn't bloody well... No matter. They got away this time. But they will pop up again. It's in their nature, and when they do, I will have them. Oh, dear. Oh, we didn't get a see everybody riding on the horses. I totally wanted to see everybody riding on the horses. That's okay. I can't believe... Wow. Thank goodness for those horses. Otherwise, we'd be... Ah, whew. Although I am disappointed Seymour didn't even hear us out. Next to Bishop, what are we? Of course Seymour wouldn't take our word over his. He's the golden boy. Well, we got away, but now we have to think about what we'll do next. It was about time you showed up. We had a very busy day today. I know. I saw it all. You versus were just... Words fail to describe what you do. Far more skilled than I had thought initially. All right, all right. Now, what are we going to do? We move on. Seymour was a bust, but there has to be someone in a position of power who will listen. If you can't convince someone with clout of what Bishop is planning, that is it for our world. Wonderful. Any suggestions, O oh wise and omniscient sage of tilting at windmills? King Avnet passed away a few hours ago. It hasn't been announced just yet, so few know. That means Queen Savannah... That means Queen Savannah will take the throne. <laughs> Good, she's never been a fan of us predators, so if it's one of their best runs to her with all the bad things they're doing, she's more liable to listen. Good thinking. If you head to the Imperial City with all due haste, you should make it in time for a coronation ceremony. All this traveling. We'd best see some results soon, is all I'm saying. Maybe, maybe if we bring the Queen, something will lend weight to our claims. Like what? The Tome of Prophecies. Hmm. Yes, that sounds reasonable. What is that? The Tome is how we learned of Michaela's power. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. I see, well... It might work, I suppose. Where is this tome of yours? Zekiel Library, west of here. It won't be easy. Nothing ever is, it seems, but we have to try. It's an idea anyways, Versus. Besides, any little bit to help. There's something I wanted to ask you. The other day a witch bef appeared before us, using the same projection spell you're using now. The same projection... Alfaba. It could have been. It could only have been Alfaba. And who is Alfaba? I'm not familiar with that name. She's the kind of witch that makes people think the predators are necessary. Egotistical, ambitious, self-centered, sociopathic. She's the worst of our kind. I can't imagine why she'd be watching you lot, but be careful around her. Every word she says serves an agenda. And to date, no witch comes close to her level of power. For now, focus on getting the Tome of Prophecies. After that, you head to the Imperial City. Understood. And we're well rested for the night. And I think before we head off, I'm going to go ahead and save right here. So we shall save over file one. And as always, I'm Bubbly Oasis, and thank you for watching. Now I am signing off. Talk to you guys later.